This is the Contex 30 calculator. It was made by the brothers Carlson in Denmark from 1963 until about 1971. I already have a video of the Contex 10. That is a manual calculator, very similar to this one. Uh, the follow-up model to that was the Contex 20, which was the first electrified version of that. And it's, this machine, the Contex 30, improves on that slightly by having a better multiplication system. It's very straightforward to use. When you enter a number, you have this small indicator pin here that moves, showing you how much you've entered. And I can then press the plus button to add that number to the main register. You have to ignore this red digit here that's only used for division. I can then enter another number and add it on top of that. Subtraction is just as simple. You press the minus button instead of the plus button. You'll notice that the whole uh, register here shifted to the left that reattaches these number wheels to the mechanism uh, so that it, they turn the opposite direction so that it can do subtraction. Next time I add something it'll shift back to the right again. Uh, to clear the main register you press this C button. If you enter something and you want to clear that because you entered it wrong, you can clear it just by pulling this uh, red indicator to the right. Uh, multiplication next. If I enter the number 256 and multiply that by itself, by another 256, I have to enter that second number starting from the right. So I start with a 6, then the 5, then the 2. When I enter the 6, it adds it 6 times in the units position and shifts the input one, uh, letter, one digit to the left. And then I press the 5, so that it adds it 5 times in the tens position. And then press the 2 and it adds it twice in the hundreds position. And the result, 65536. I can then clear the input, and that also releases the multiply button. Sometimes it so happens that you don't want to clear the input, you might want to reuse that uh, first factor again. I could do that as well. So if I enter that same number, 256, I can put this stopper right next to the input uh, indicator. And now I'll just do the multiplication. The same as before. And if I now try and clear the input, I get stopped here. So that simply returns the input to its starting position, but without clearing the actual number. It just clears those appended zeros. So I could now then do uh, another multiplication by 32, for example. Unfortunately, this machine does have some problems. Uh, Sometimes it loses the input. Uh, for example, if I enter 10 nines and add that, you'll see that some of the input digits are lost. It simply does not register the numbers properly. This is because the uh, grid of uh, pins that holds the input, that store the input, those don't move, uh, they're not, they move too easily, so they uh, easily get uh, shifted when they're not supposed to, and vice versa. 
And uh, yeah, so that means sometimes when you enter a number on this machine, it doesn't quite register properly. And also during calculation, it can sometimes lose, uh, yeah, or get corrupted. So with that in mind, let's try a division. I'll do one divided by seven. So I enter one. I'll use this button to shift it all the way to the left and enter it in the register. So it's all the way up here. Now I divide by seven. Again, shift it all the way to the left. Uh, you notice, by the way, that when it's shifting it to the left, it also clears uh, this uh, red digit here. That will be the output of the division. Uh, so now I'll start the division, the division by pressing this button, the division button, and then the minus to do the first calculation. Well, it did pretty much nothing. The output is zero. So that is the first uh, digit of the result, so zero point. And then I press the right arrow to do the next uh, digit. So the next digit is one, so zero point, point one. And zero point one four. And I can see that it's already corrupted stuff here, so it's not going to give me the correct answer. But uh, let's see, 0 0.42, 0 0.428, yeah, 0 0.1428. So yeah, it's, it's probably not going to go correctly now. So I'll, let me try it one more time. So 1, 7, 0, 1, 4, 2, 8, 5, 7, 1, 4, 9. Hmm. Okay. So it, it nearly got there. So that's uh, division. You have to, uh, yeah, record these the numbers that show in this red digit one by one. Uh, you also have this small slider here, which you can use to keep track of the decimal points. I'm not exactly sure how that's used. But uh, yeah, so that was how you use the Context 30 calculator. Thank you for watching.